Good afternoon. Today I'll be presenting a very efficient approach to collect fish measurements using voice or speech recognition technology. This is actually a further, further iteration of work we started back in 2009 and then published in 2017 where we developed and implemented what we are calling the voice data recording system for our research vessel on Lake Superior to survey lake chart populations. Since 2009, we have sampled over 63,000 fish in our gillnet surveys, collecting over a half a million data points using voice recognition software. This system has made our survey program paperless and has incurred large savings in staff hours. And the biggest take home message today we want to uh, show with our talk is that it actually works. Before I describe the voice data recording system, First, I wanted to talk about the traditional biodata collection, which can be generalized into four phases. In the first phase, there's the field observation recording step, where there's a data observer and a data recorder that records data, typically on data sheets. Once the data come back from the field, uh, they're transcribed by a data entry person into the computer database. In the third phase, there's data proofing. And in this example, there's two people proofing, where one person reads the printout from the computer and the other person compares it with the field data sheet. And then there's the last step of data correction. So in the traditional data approach, there's about four sources of error shown here in the red dots, um, ranging from transcription to key punch uh, to uh, interpretation errors. With the voice data recording system, all of this is consolidated into one phase and all of this is done on ship where the data observer actually is uh, rectifying the data in real time by visualizing the data flow. And the data recorder now becomes a data monitor, which is a secondary uh, backup to uh, the data flow and looking for errors by monitoring the computer screen. And in this case, it's about two points of error. The voice data recording system is pretty simple in that the core of the system is simply a computer, the essential software, dragging naturally speaking the database, a microphone, and a digital voice record recorder that serves to record a transcript of the session. And this is an independent backup of the system. There are two versions of the VDRS. This here is the mobile version of the system. And then there's a ship mounted version, which has a large screen monitor so that the data observer can actually monitor the data flow and, and conduct corrections. And then a suite of peripheral devices can add, be added to enhance the system, including a label maker, which is what you use to label sample bags, uh, code scanners, and pit tag readers, and etc. Here's a picture of the system on our research vessel uh, for Lake Superior that uh, is primarily used for gillnet surveys. So you can see the monitors mounted on the bulkhead. I'm wearing a headset, and I have a digital voice recorder attached to my PFD. Uh, and then we have what we call the podium, which has a laptop and the data uh, monitors there monitoring the flow and then the label makers there that prints out the labels for our sample bags. And here's an example of it being implemented in the field. This is a, actually a commercial fish processing site. And this is my co-author, Dan Trainer, uh, processing lake whitefish uh, in the uh, from monitoring the commercial fishery. So you can see the headset there, the tablet, and digital voice recorder. They don't really have space for us, so they just put us outside. So it's pretty portable.
1070. Enter. 502. Girl. Yes. Next. Tab. Walleye. 15.3. Boy. Diet. Alewife. 2.7. Tab. 1. Next item. Perch. 3.1. Tab. 1. Go back. Next. Tab. So our staff uh, have been using the system since 2009, and we actually don't understand why uh, people won't want to try using speech recognition to collect data uh, when we've uh, demonstrated to this and published on it. And so we identified some of the key challenges or concerns that people have. And the first one uh, is background noise, and people say that it's too loud for it to work. Uh, the software actually uh, can basically adapt to your speech pattern, so it deals with uh, speech issues. Uh, the headsets have noise canceling technology to help deal with background noise, and I guess the best testimony is to see a video of it working. Another major concern that people have when we present the voice data recording system is that they think that it'll be too slow and not as efficient. For those that work in the field, uh, generally data recorders and observers come up with a pretty efficient system to deal with high tempo and high volume data collection. So we actually measured traditional approaches versus the voice data recording system for our paper in 2017 and have some data to back up that it's, it's actually as efficient as recording in the field. Now again, that doesn't include the time that uh, is at the back end of entering the data uh, at the station and proofing. But in the field, it's actually just as if, uh, fast or even faster, but we're gonna show that it's more efficient in the following slides. So the first thing we looked at in terms of efficiency is that the, of the collection speed, how fast it takes to record the data in the field. So we made a comparison between writing on paper versus using the voice. We found that the voice data recording system was actually about the same speed or even faster. Now, again, I mentioned that there's a front end, which is what you do in the field in terms of data collection, but um, data collection also involves a back end, which voice data system doesn't have which is proofing and corrections and uh, transcription from paper to computer. And in our program where we sample over 12, 000, up to over, sometimes over 12,000 fish a year where we're conducting measurements on those fish, we've eliminated on average about 200 staff hours a year of data processing, basically key punching, proofing, and then corrections. And so it's more efficient in that aspect. And lastly, we found that the error rates we're actually lower using voice data entry than using the traditional data collection where we key punch it and proof it. Uh, we found that there are actually a lot of errors still get by even uh, with proofing. Whereas uh, for the measurements we did uh, for the paper, we found uh, pretty much near zero errors in voicing on ship because the data recorder 
or the data observer, I'm sorry, is actually doing the corrections in real time while it's intuitive and fresh. Another key concern or challenge to uh, the voice data recording system is dealing with staff uh, that are resistant to change or are naysaying. Um, the following is an example of a staff member that was near retirement and had a lot of experience, but uh, adamantly said that it would not work. Uh, so I work with this technician to um, show her that it can work. And this video is just the best testimony. So the last key concern or challenge for why pe we think people don't want to use the voice data recording system is that it's too hard to implement or learn. And this point is actually addressed to uh, the biologist or project leader that manages the uh, data program. It could be a technician too. And I'm going to show you a video of how simple it is to program commands in Dragon. So that's essentially what you're doing is in Dragon, it's taking whatever you're saying and just typing keys or doing actions. And it's very simple. So if you already know how to use a lot of Microsoft products, you're you know way past the brain power needed to do this. And especially if you work in R, you're what you are surpassing what's needed to do this. This is a simple demonstration to show you how easy it is to program Dragon to enter fish biodata. So we're gonna create a species code for a species called bluefish. And when we say bluefish, it's gonna enter BF, which is the code we wanna use, or you can put any code you want for bluefish. So first we're gonna go into Dragon, into the command center. And here's where we'll create a command for bluefish. So, so we'll type bluefish, and then next in Dragon, you train your voice to it. Bluefish, save it. Now we're gonna tell Dragon what to do when we say bluefish. First, we're gonna use a step-by-step -step command to enter some text, and we're gonna insert BF for bluefish. And we're gonna enter some automations. We're gonna also program a keystroke so that after it types in bluefish, it's gonna insert a tab so it can go right to the length field without requiring a command to navigate. So now that we're done, we're gonna close that. Wake up, bluefish, one, two, three, four, tab, four, three, two, one, tab, stop. To summarize my talk today, we found that the voice data recording system is simple and flexible for many applications. And hopefully today's videos uh, provided uh, some evidence of that for you. The voice data recording system can handle high volume and high tempo biodata collection. And now we're using a mobile version of the system for commercial monitoring, and that's reduced staff member uh, requirements in the field from two to one in many of our uh, events. Uh, it's used in small vessel sampling. Uh, some of uh, the technicians that I've worked with before uh, are now using it in the hatchery to do uh, fish uh, biodata measurements and that's reduced their staff at the hatchery to do these measurements from two to one. It's been used in the laboratory uh, sampling with just one person and you can weigh tissues and do diet analysis and other things. And I think the biggest thing I wanna close with is that the system works and we hope uh, you give it a try. And with that, I'd be glad to answer any questions. Thanks.